Hey guys, welcome to Little India. As you can see, I caught Little India during the festival of Deepavali. So the streets are beautifully decorated. Unlike most of Singapore, which is flashy and high tech, Little India makes you feel like you stepped a few decades into the past. I'll bet you'll never be able to walk too far from the jasmine smell coming out of the flower shops. An average tourist will quickly notice that Little India is dirtier, noisier, and rowdier than the rest of Singapore. Okay, so what do you do once you're in Little India? Let's take a look at the top attractions and activities. This is the Sri Virama Kaliyaman Temple located in Serangoon Road, which is right in the middle of Little India. A very nice and historical Hindu temple. The primary goddess is an ancestor Tamil god with a fascinating history. Unlike most Hindu temples, this temple has a lot of unique Dravidian gods and goddesses. The most interesting is Periyachi Amman with a truly frightening appearance. Note how she is trampling a man below her feet and eating a woman's intestines. The temple is closed during afternoons, so go in the morning or in the evening. The second important place is the Tekka Center. This is a huge shopping mall with two levels. The first level sells food and the second level sells goods. The Hawker Center in the first level is well known for $4 chicken biryani, $1.25 dosa and other cheap Indian food. You can also find a handful of Chinese and Malay food stands as well. The second level is where they sell Indian clothes like saris and salwars. Of course, you can buy shoes, bags and other stuff too. You can find a lot of traditional Indian tailor shops where you can customize your clothes. If you ever wanted a nice Indian outfit, this is the place to buy it. A unique activity to do for all tourists is to get your fortune told by a parrot. The bird will pick a card which tells your future. It's very popular among women and children. This activity is called Kilijosium and is done on the streets of Little India. While Arab Street is famous for hookah bars, Little India is well known for its liquor bars. The bars are of several kinds and the most popular is the Tamil Nadu Special Bar, which is out in the open and workers relax after a long day's work. Food is cheap and this place is super crowded at nights. With recent riots in Little India, drinking has come under a lot of surveillance. For a better experience, try the nightclubs like Sitara Lounge or Club Flux. Okay, moving on to restaurants. There is no way you're leaving Little India without eating Indian food. It's a great experience because many restaurants still serve your food on banana leaves. The best restaurant here is Lagna, where you can take off your shoes and sit on the floor to eat. This is the traditional Indian way of eating. Muthu's Curry is another restaurant popular for its crab and chicken delicacies. Komala Vilas and Ananda Bhavan give you an authentic South Indian taste. Try the Kashmir and Juggies for North Indian cuisine. If you don't want to spend a lot of time or money eating, go to Tekka Center or try street side food stands. Another exciting activity is getting a temporary herbal tattoo. The ink is made from henna, a plant that gives a bright red color. Skilled artists will create fantastic traditional designs on your body. It'll fade after about five days. Here is another fun place to shop, the Mustafa Center. Open 24 hours, this store almost has a cult following among Singaporeans. With unbeatable prices and an enormous variety of goods, Mustafa Center is ranked the best among all other shops 
in Little India. Let's quickly go through a few other places of interest. This is another popular temple in Little India called the Srinivasa Perumal Temple. Sri Vadapatrakaliamman Temple is also another interesting place to visit. Abdul Ghaffur Mosque is a small but beautiful place to visit. Close by is the Thieves Market on Sungay Road. Once upon a time, stolen goods were sold here. Today, the street vendors sell anything and everything and it's a place to buy cheap second-hand goods. Street shopping in Little India is awesome and you can find some very unique items in small shops. Ayurveda and Siddha medicines, jewelry, ethnic clothes, Indian cosmetics, herbal oils, and even old Indian magazines are sold. Some very unique statues of fearsome gods can be bought on the streets like Sangli Karupan and Periyachi Amman. Don't forget to bargain on all street shops. You'll be surprised how much the price goes down. As you can see, don't allocate a couple of hours to visit Little India because you can't cover much. You need at least a day to explore this place. Like Arab Street in Chinatown, Little India has its own ethnic flavor and culture. I hope you liked my video and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.